Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So many people were asking me what do I use for uh, anything that's related to 3D and also many people were asking me even like on the previous videos talk about Unreal Engine and how it works and uh, how can you learn on all those things. So in this video I wanted to explain about Unreal Engine and how it works and uh, what kind of stuff you can do in that and uh, pretty much also show you guys something that I did like a few years back in Unreal Engine just a very small project let's get into it so unreal engine is basically a game engine and a 3d creation software which was developed by epic games so epic games is basically like a game development company uh, epic games developed the game fortnite uh, yesterday was like the biggest day for fortnite nearly 45 million people played on the same day so you know that's like really really huge so fortnite is like a huge hit for game, epic games and also a free game anyone can download it and play so it was first showcased in 1998 when they made a game called unreal it was a first person shooter game so they basically uh, made this whole kind of uh, environment and engine to actually make that game so that's how it all started it's like really uh, the user interface and everything it's very very open source and uh, many studios are using unreal engine now for various different purposes i have like many good things about unreal engine but when it comes to like these kind of things unreal engine is like this one uh, single application where you can do everything so you know you can use unreal to like model uh, different assets and you can create like new materials and you know do the whole texturing and uh, surfacing part you can also bring in assets and uh, add rigs and control rigs to that so, and also animate those things you know you can do a whole animation of different assets and there's also a specific plugin called niagara inside unreal engine which is used to make all these kind of it's basically like a particle system so you can do all kinds of like fx stuff inside that using this niagara plugin and also of course we can create an entire uh, environment and you know with uh, landscaping tools you can create like different landscapes and terrains and uh, do a whole lighting you know completely realistic lighting inside unreal like and after lighting you can even do like green screen comps inside uh, unreal engine like you can bring in green screen plates and uh, comp them and with a different environment so these are just like you know i, I just spoke about like uh, things which you actually do inside a vfx studio but ap apart from this and you know you can actually bring in controls and develop a whole uh, interactive system to like actually you know the interactiveness you know if you want to play a game you want to control the character so you can do that whole development thing inside apart from that this is on the gaming side but ap apart from that when it comes to like film people are also using unreal engine to do virtual production which is called which is basically creating environments inside unreal engine and uh, connecting the camera to a real world camera so that you know the camera movement matches the environment and basically projecting the environment onto like a 180 degree uh, huge screen so they project that and basically make a set inside a studio and basically the actors will act in front of that whole projection system instead of a green screen so you don't technically need a green screen and you don't have to match the light interaction and all those stuff from the background because you're actually standing in front of the background so those projection systems are like really high res so you know it's not going to be pixelated you know it's like a really expensive setup and also uh, people who are doing architecture and all those uh, things you know if you're going to model a house or an apartment condo and all that you know you want people to view it you will get like a really good idea so that's called like arcviz so it's basically architecture visualization and there's like few limitations uh, it's not the best in all these things as i said you know uh, it's obviously not gonna be as good as Houdini in doing FX stuff, you know. Uh, Unreal is like the best. For freelance artists, that's the second good thing. Unreal is free for everyone. So anyone can just download the Epic Games launcher and download the latest version of Unreal Engine, like the complete full version, and they can use it for free. It's not like the other applications, like let's say for example, Nuke or Maya, like where you have to pay a subscription fees or uh, like Final Cut Pro where you just have to pay one time and then buy the software. Unreal works on a royalty basis. Anyone who's developing games or no matter which industry you are in, uh, you can download Unreal Engine and develop your own product. Uh, if that product is public and you're actually selling that product and uh, up until you sell uh, that product you know 1 million worth of that product 1 million US dollars worth of that product you don't need to pay any royalty it's only after uh, once you've passed that 1 million dollars you need to pay a 5% royalty to 
Unreal Engine, which pretty much most of us are not gonna do, and uh, which is like the good thing, you know. It's it's really meant to be for huge gaming studios, you know, who develop all these games which we play every day, you know, all these huge games. Uh, Unreal Engine is. At real time so that's like the third good thing about unreal engine is lighting and everything is real time and even like the interface and navigating through the interface is gonna be like a game you actually use wsad like a first person game like how you play a game on pc that's how you actually navigate with your mouse and stuff to go around and model everything like it's like really nice you know and different when i did the project which i was talking about in the beginning like a uh, few years back I did actually have like a really good PC. I had a Windows PC with like GTX uh, 1660 and 16 GB RAM. It, it, I had i7 and uh, it was a good PC. It, it, it used to run like almost all of the games at that time. Uh, so Unreal was pretty good. Uh, it was running pretty good. I was getting like good uh, frame rate and all those things. But right now I'm using it on a basic just entry model of mac mini i know it's a very small system it's not as huge as my previous pc but i'm still using unreal on this i can see a performance difference between my previous pc and this one this is much slower but it's still i have made a whole scene on it which i'll release soon uh, i'm still developing that i did that entire thing on mac mini it's almost like real time i'm getting 30 frames per second uh, which is really good for a mac mini i didn't expect that uh their m1 is good for like video editing and stuff but 3d i i didn't know this is the first time i'm using it so that's like the other good thing about unreal engine is it doesn't actually require uh, like a really huge pc or anything like that if you just have a decent pc with like a decent graphics card decent one and decent amount of ram even like an 8 gb ram or something like that and an i5 processor i think you should be able to do things in uh, unreal it shouldn't be like really hard you know it, you would be able to do it in real time if you have things like all these uh, geforce rtx 3080 or 4070 all those like rtx uh, graphics card like then it's gonna be like crazy you know i really want to experience that it's it's just like a added on thing you don't actually need that to work in unreal engine so also when it comes to like learning unreal engine i feel it's very very easy uh I'm not talking about uh, coding for games and developing games and doing all that blueprints and stuff like I'm not a technical person I don't know that I've, I've tried to learn that it's, it's very different for me uh, I have tried it a few years back but I'm not talking about that if you want to create environments if you want to do lighting if you want to do modeling and animation these kind of creative stuff I feel Unreal Engine is like really easy uh, application to learn. I also wanted to show you guys uh, what I did uh, a few years back but that was the only thing I did in Unreal Engine because after that it was work and stuff you know that took me like two weeks to do the entire thing and uh, render it out. Uh, I think I just saw like few videos on YouTube like the stuff which they made and I saw one kind of a forest thing which I liked and I just wanted to do something like that so this is how I learned Unreal Engine. Like I just started watching tutorials and I watched like a basic beginner tutorial just to understand like what is where in the interface and stuff. And then I directly moved on to the tutorial like where I, where I can make like a forest uh, environment and stuff. And I pretty much watched like uh, maybe like 10 to 15 different tutorials to do different things inside that one environment and one scene. And basically that's how I learned. I, le I just learned like different small stuff in like each tutorial and pretty much i got an entire idea about how to create environments and stuff and uh you know it, it was in 2020 so i lost a little bit of touch and uh recently i started again and you know just i, I just saw like one video and then it all came back uh it, it's really nice to work on unreal engine and, and uh yeah i'm currently working on different projects on unreal engine uh, which I'll be releasing soon, how I did it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the project file for the stuff which you saw right now. So I won't be able to show you guys how I did it. And apart from this, if you guys ask me uh, whether it's going to be helpful for my career, they use it in virtual production, but that's more of a production thing. It's not in, a, it's not in post production. So when they shoot it, they do that. It all comes to the same, uh, those departments, but you know, instead of using like other softwares, you use Unreal Engine. So if you know Unreal Engine, I think VFX won't be your only 
area of space like where you can get jobs you know you can definitely go into a gaming industry you can become a level artist or there's like so many things uh, you can do with unreal engine and the scope is wide definitely it'll be useful if you have like a good portfolio inside unreal engine but again as i say always there's too many things inside unreal engine so don't it's good to learn the basics of everything but just make like one good demo reel about the specific thing so yeah it's definitely good to learn i'm also learning uh, i'm not like an expert or anything in unreal engine i'm a very very uh, beginner i think some even colleges like you know seneca college i think they've added unreal engine to their uh, programs now the vfx program but yeah that's pretty much it about uh, unreal engine i just wanted to share this information with you guys so if you're planning to learn something you know related to 3d and vfx and all these things definitely learn unreal engine yeah that's pretty much it guys i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's money